This is the Dot Extra. I'm Ron Juckett. If you have not heard the news by now, Trey Turner of the Washington Nationals suffered a broken wrist on Thursday night after he was hit by a pitch in their loss to the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Chelsea James is the source on this uh, from the Washington Post. If a guide, if anyone could be used as a guide, I would think it would be um, Freddie Freeman's injury with the Atlanta Braves, which is similar, a uh, hit ball, you know, hit by pitch on, on the wrist, and he was gone 10 weeks. Uh, he should be, Freeman should be back relatively soon, um, but when he comes back, he'll be playing third base for Atlanta, and probably not first because they had to go out and trade for uh, Matt Adams from St. Louis. The effects of this are deep. Um, it'll be Stephen Drew and Wilmer Defoe who will be getting most of the playing time. Uh, Adrian Sanchez, the starting shortstop from Syracuse, was pulled from the lineup tonight. Uh, Ricky Keeler says that and probably will be the one that will receive the call up when Turner officially goes on the disabled list tomorrow. Um, we do not have a timeline tonight on how long he should be out for. If it is over, if it's the length of time of Freeman's injury, then Turner can be on the 60-day disabled list and free up a spot on the 40-man roster. As of now, they do not have a spot on the 40-man roster. And so in order to make, if it is um, Sanchez as the new shortstop, or the one they call up, they will have to designate someone f for assignment to make room for him, for Sanchez on the roster. Um, Sammy Solis is expected to be called up in a, in a couple days for t bullpen help, and they would have to make another move at that point. But you would not think at this time that they would strictly call up Solis for Turner to go on the disabled list. The bench is rather short. Uh, fortunately, as I said, they do have two people in uh, in Drew and, and Defoe who can play short. Defoe has not had a lot of playing time since being called back up. If you remember, he had a disastrous game in center field and then has pinch hit once or twice since. Um, and Drew's probably better off at, at second. Um, but in any event, you need to have another reserve infielder. The only one currently on the 40-man roster in Syracuse is Matt Skoll. And then if you look down at Double A Harrisburg, it is Jose Marmalejos. Uh, Drew had stolen a major league high 35 bases this year. He had stolen 22 this month. Uh, the second highest in this millennium, only Jose Reyes had, had more. And he had 23 in one particular month in 2007. The Nationals will feel this loss greatly. This is this is as bad as you can get. You can kind of putter around bullpen issues, but they did not have a lot of depth as far as position players. Now, Drew plays a good defense and will do just fine with a bat. And so Defoe has good speed, but is not a great bat. Um, at this point, you kind of think about who's going to be leading off at this point. Um, and other issues that will affect the team. But for now, the news tonight is not good. Trey Turner has been diagnosed with a broken wrist after being hit by a pitch Thursday afternoon against the Chicago Cubs. And that's it for this extra. I'm Ron Juckett for District on Neck. Good night.